I don't have everything to do the tea video just yet. I've got a couple more things coming in. Uh, but keep a lookout because I might be doing a giveaway. But, since I had one of my care packages featured on Brave Crate, so I'm just a tiny bit Facebook famous, I thought I'd share, share, I can't talk, the secret to a good care package. Uh, my top three things are decorations, a theme, and necessities. Uh, it's fun to decorate the box and it kind of keeps morale up a little bit like even if you only send the stuff that they need like if you literally only send socks underwear and deodorant it's still cute for them to open the box and have you know pretty decorations and to know that you spend a little extra time on it the theme for me is important because it helps keep me focused or else I would probably just buy the whole store because I like going through and finding little things that I think would be helpful. Um, like for the 4th of July, I didn't even have a box planned. I just was in the store and found this gaudy, ugly shirt and sent it to him. And I was like, it can just be your 4th of July. But, um... <coughs> Anyway, themes keep me on task. And then, um, the essentials is you need to know what they're using over there and what they need and what they can't have. For example, um, my husband in particular needed, um, the little air fresheners for the car because they're Humvees and vehicles and everything smell like, you know, like man sweat and old boots, according to him. So, um... We've, you know, put little smell good things in our boxes and this and that and the other. And then he said this time uh, they're going on a different mission. So he needs um, underwear and deodorant and, like, shower stuff. And also the challenge for the Brave Crate was a get clean box. So that kind of all went in together and I made this really big huge one and, like, yeah. So... I'm going to show you, let me pour it out real quick, and I'll show you what I put in there. But this is the decoration, splish, splash, you need a bath, wash that stinky ass, and then it's got little duckies, I like that. And um, people keep telling me that it's ridiculous to um, spend so much money decorating something that's going to get thrown away, but these pieces of paper were 69 cents a piece so it's like a little over two bucks these letters come from the Dollar Tree and these stickers were 98 cents at Walmart the sparkly stickers so hello you wanna come help? so it was like this whole box is probably like five dollars if that um, the letters get not reused, but I use the leftovers in different boxes and stuff, so it's not like I'm spending specifically per box. And the boxes are free from the post office anyway. Say hi! Are you sleepy? You got a snow cone mouth. Do you smile? No, you're gonna be kind Did brother make you mad? No, brother didn't. Okay. Don't hit. You can't help though. Now, because it's bath themed. <laughs> no, he says hi. But it, because it's bath themed, I spent, you know, like different ways to get clean and different stuff that you can use in the bathroom. And <coughs> I also sent the things that he requested. Like, you know, the underwear and everything. Um, another thing, too, is that not every, okay, okay, is that not, <laughs> are you doing the video now?
okay. But not everything has to be perfectly to fame. Um, like I have been told by other spouses, um, that, that where he's going on mission, um, they have really bad bug problems. So, I got a bunch of these bug away bracelets. Um, I just saw them and thought, you know, hey, if the bug problem really is bad, they don't necessarily fit my theme, but he could use them, so. Just tuck it under something, and when he opens it, you won't even realize that it's not his thing. <coughs> anyway, so we have the box. And then we fill it. And what I did is I just went to Walmart and um, went through, like, the toiletry section. And because it's summer, all of the travel-size toiletries were on sale. Um, some of the full-size toiletries were on sale. Um, hey. Oh, and Lee! I need that! <gasps> anyway, so I found a bunch of stuff on sale, and I got it, and then... Oh, and stop! And then I had picked up some stuff earlier, um, because like I said, I like to just go through and try to find stuff that fits. You know, and if I don't, if I find something that he could use that doesn't fit, I'll put it up for when it does. So, um, like for example, these, I've had these since before he left. Um, I, I don't even know where they come from. They were just in the house. They were still in their package, original packaging. So I was like, hey, fishy toys. Um, so... Now that we have all of our stuff, and it's a lot, we'll start filling. I don't need that just yet. Thank you. I'll start with the bigger stuff. Um, avocados are kind of our thing. We're um, one of the few people in either side of our family that actually eats avocados, and we don't just like avocados. We like put them on everything, so they kind of become our little symbol and we're, like we're even getting avocado tattoos when he comes home so I got avocado underwear <laughs> and then I got a new razor um it's got replaceable heads which is important um because that's what he uses at home and he doesn't like the um this regular disposable ones where you throw the whole razor away but these were supposed to be a really good brand uh German engineered blade techno whatever and the blade replacements are half the price of Gillette. And he has always used Gillette. But they're $30 for a box of replacements. These were $18. So. Oh, and the razor itself was cheaper. This was $10. And Gillette's razor starter kit was $20. I was like, yeah, we're going to try this. Don't open it, Owen. Anyway, so razor. Wipes. I always need wipes. Always. Um, I got um, Septic Safe flushable wipes. Just in case that's what he needed. Three in one. I had to get kids because the kids was... Um, the kids kind was five dollars. The adult kind... The adult kind was... Like ten or fifteen. It was expensive. Might not have been that expensive. It might have been like eight or ten. But still... Three in one, soap, shampoo, conditioner, all of it, one bottle. My husband always, 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 always loses his tweezers and his clippers. Always. So I got him new ones. He hadn't lost the ones he took with him yet, but it's gonna happen. Deodorant. I look like a freak in the deodorant aisle because I have to sit and open each individual kind because for some reason I can't remember what kind he uses and I only know that it's white powder on the inside and not gel. So I have to sit and open all of them until I find it. Chapsticks. Where's the other one? Chapsticks. 
He always needs chapstick, says lips stay dry. They're worse since he's been in the desert. He always loses them. I always try to stick one or two in a package every once in a while when I can. Um, yes. This is the bar that was um, in the brace crate this month that was part of our challenge is we had to fit it in here. Give me those before you bust them. Get them here. Anyway, these are shower bombs. I normally like to send one, like, nice item. Um, and I would have sent bath bombs because we all really like bath bombs. But he can't take a bath. They have to do showers. So I found these. They're really cool. They're like bath bombs. Um, but they go in the shower if you put them not under direct water uh, spray. Um, then they'll fuzz up and make your bath smell good. Or your shower smell good. Can I have the other one, please? I'll get it in a minute. Athlete's foot cream. It happens. Whatever. They might need it. They might not. I don't know. Loofless. Everybody needs a fresh loof every once in a while. Um, these I picked up in a hotel. And I just kind of stuck them in there. And I was like, well, maybe I'll use them. Maybe I won't. They come in handy in this box. Travel size. Shampoo. Conditioner. Moisturizer. And bar soap. Lotion, like I said, desert dry. Um, toothpaste. People run out of toothpaste. Game scented for breeze, because their uniforms don't always get to get washed as quickly. Um, I found this three set on Amazon, and you can't send aerosol shaving cream. So I got shaving what's well, a shaving cream anyway uh, I thought it was shave butter but anyway it comes in a little squeeze pouch and then it comes with aftershave and this little nick stick in case they cut themselves it stops the bleeding so I just tuck this in here two tips um actually you know what he just got a whole pack of the utility tips that you wash and reuse, so he might not need two tips, but he's got them anyway. And then, of course, the bug bands, which I'll just throw in here, wherever they fit, because they're tiny. And then the little bath toys, which will serve absolutely no purpose, but they're cute and they'd make him smile, so worth it, right? And then just stick them on top well, where they will be seen. <coughs> I'm going to talk today. Sorry, guys. Ow! What'd you do that for? Anyway. And there we have, whoop, if I don't spill it, a nice full care package that looks great. It's got everything that they need. And, you know, we got it all on sale, so we didn't spend a whole fortune on it. Yeah, it's for bugs. So, um, I hope you don't ever actually go through a deployment, but if you do, here is how to make careful, careful, careful a care package. Well, I mean, one way. There's more than one way to skin a rabbit. Anyway, so enjoy.